Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to make a super useful calendar dashboard in Power BI. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a clear interactive calendar right inside your Power BI report, perfect for tracking events, deadlines, or even visualizing data by date in a way that's way more engaging than a simple table. Let's jump right in and get started together. Alright, first things first, open up your Power BI desktop and take a look over at the right hand side. You'll see the visualization pane, that's the space where all your chart and graph options live. Now, Power BI comes with a lot of great default visuals, but the true magic happens when you tap into the world of custom visuals. For our calendar dashboard, we're going to need one of these custom visuals. Next up, click on those three little dots at the bottom of the visualization pane. This opens a menu where you'll see the option called Get More Visuals. Sometimes it feels like opening a treasure chest because there's a huge library of community-created visuals here. Go ahead and click Get More Visuals. This might take a couple seconds to load, depending on your internet connection, so don't worry if it's not instant. Once the visuals window pops up, you'll see a search bar at the top. Type in the word calendar. Power BI will fetch a list of different calendar visuals that are available for you to use. Now there are a couple of options that might appear. You might see names like Calendar by MAQ Software or others. Take a moment here to preview them by clicking on each one and reading the description. Pick the calendar visual that looks like it will suit your needs best. For most people, something clean and simple is the way to go, especially if you're just starting out. When you found the one you like, simply click on it, then press the Add button to import it into your Power BI report. This is a really important step because you're essentially expanding Power BI's capabilities every time you bring in a new visual. If everything goes smoothly, you'll see a little confirmation pop up, letting you know the visual was imported successfully. Now it's time for the fun part, actually putting the calendar on your report. Head back to your visualization pane and you should now see the new calendar visual in your list. Click it once to add it to your page, it'll pop right into your report ready for action. You can click and drag to resize or move it anywhere you want. But remember a calendar by itself doesn't do much until you connect it to your data. So look over to the fields pane, that's where all your tables and columns from your data source live. Drag the date fields, event names, or whatever data you want to visualize into the calendar visual. This is where your report comes to life. For example, if you're tracking project deadlines, drag your due date field into the calendar's date input. You'll instantly see those dates light up in the calendar, so you can spot busy weeks or important events at a glance. And if you want, don't be afraid to customize more. Most calendar visuals let you tweak colors, labels, and the overall display just like you would with any other chart. This helps you match your dashboard to your company's colors or your personal style, making it not just functional but also easy on the eyes. And honestly, that's it. In just a few minutes, you've added a dynamic, interactive calendar to your Power BI dashboard. If something went wrong or if a calendar visual didn't show up, just try searching with a different keyword or make sure your Power BI desktop is up to date. These little hiccups are common and nothing to stress over. Thanks for watching. If you found this walkthrough helpful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share how you're using calendars in your own dashboards. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more hands-on Power BI tutorials. See you next time.